All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Tonight, I am in Manchester, going to Old Trafford for the Champions League match against CSK Moscow. Seb's with me. Here we go, guys. Uh, we've got some other friends with us as well. I don't know if they want to say hello or not, but there they go. <laughs> there. And uh, we're Champions League, obviously. Seb and I went to Chelsea Champions League recently. We chatted about football afterwards, didn't Champions we? Champions League connoisseurs now. Exactly, we're regulars. We're going to talk about football again after tonight, after the game. A bit about United, a bit about other stuff as well. Uh, United need the win, really, at least the draw. Champions League obviously had that first loss against PSV. So I just want to see a goal. It's been a while out of Trafford, isn't it? A lot so. of nil nils. We're hoping it's not going to be one of those affairs tonight. But we're looking forward to it. Not often that we get to come up this way for a football match. So hopefully it's a good one. Let's get in the theatre of dreams. <laughs> I like these little Champions League trips we do, Seb. They're like scouting for a few years when West Ham will be in the competition. We're just learning about the process. It's only a matter of time. could get quite restless, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Hopefully we get some goals. One thing I would say is a do-do cracking corn sandwich. Well, it's all over. United 1-1-0. Rooney with the only goal of the game. Could have been a few others towards the end. United actually picked it up a little bit towards the end. But yeah, Rooney firing. Man United have stopped the goal drought. And we'll talk more about that and some other stuff in a minute. But uh, interesting experience at Old Trafford. Lovely stadium. Right guys, we just got back to Seb's uh, day after the Man U game from last night. And I thought we'd talk a little bit about that game and about Manchester United and their current predicament, I say predicament, they're not in a predicament, but their current situation. Uh, first things first, I'd like to ask you, Seb, mm -hmm. is, obviously they did get the goal last night in the end, they, they won the game 1-0, it was quite a dull affair at times, uh, the fans were actually shouting things like, attack, 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 and I don't know enough about, I haven't been to Old Trafford enough mm -hmm. to know whether that's a regular thing, or if that's actually a result of their current situation, which is before that game, they'd had like, was it three or four nil nils in a row, Crazy. struggled for goals, even with the goal last night, yeah, a Fergie Man United team of old would be quite disappointed with a 1-0 win at home against CSK Moscow. So, yeah, my question to you is, what's happening at Manchester United? Why are they struggling with goals? Um, I think it is a byproduct of Louis van Gaal trying to make them stop losing games. And they're not conceding goals, but they're not scoring many. So, I think first things first is he said, right, we need to stop losing games. We need to make us very hard to beat. So secondarily to that, it's probably, you know, maybe a little bit of a lack of flair in the final third. Um, Rooney is, you know, not struggling for goals necessarily. Well, a little bit, but struggling for form. Um, but also not getting a lot of chances created for him. Not getting a lot of chances they, created. They, they did give him one clear cut chance yesterday on his head and he did score it. Well, I'll actually yeah. say another one. I think there's another goal match scramble oh, there, where he yeah. sort of missed the ball. The thing is, it, yeah. he's lacking that clinical edge, which you're only going to get if you're playing him up front regularly. Now, Rooney could play anywhere, we know that. He's a great addition to the side, a centre mid, cam, even wide, right? But Van Gaal, trying to not lose games, he's trying to play one up front. Mm. And by playing one up front, he's playing Rooney behind, which means Rooney is not, he's sharpest. I think that's where he's best. I don't think he should. He's I, I possibly agree. Defensively, I think you're right. They have improved. Chris Smalling's a great example of that, yeah, how far he's come. Incredible block last night. He incredible. was the man of the match. We all agreed he was, we yeah. thought he was the best player last night from our seat, yeah. anyway. Um, 
but going forward, it's not about the way they line up. It's, it's their actual decision making, I think. Like going short on all the corners. It was, people were getting really annoyed by that right before half time. They did a really bad short mm. corner, lost the ball. Some even some fans were even booing mm. as the players walked in the tunnel. Um, I think they just want to see players like you know, like when Ronaldo is there and Giggs of old, just running at defenders, taking them on, going around them. Yeah, maybe you lose the ball from time to time. Or you, know, you get tackled, but if you're trying that, and then when you get through, you, you smack a ball into the box or have a shot. True. That's live. That's what they thought Memphis Depay was going to offer. And wow, he was a disappointment. He hasn't. Night. He hasn't done it. He really hasn't. I was tipping him for the top when he came to this league, based on what he'd done for PSV and even the Netherlands as well. But he really has not turned it on yet. I hope he does, because it'd be good for the league to see someone like that in full flow. But. Yeah, he's really struggling for confidence, I think. And free kicks, for example, is his thing. That's what he's known for. And his free kick last night that Rooney gave him to take was awful. The thing with Man United fans is they had obviously Sir Alex, the years were great. Mm. This little blip happened with David Moyes and with the squad that was left, etc. I do feel like they're on enough again now. I think uh, whether it's Van Gaal or it's the money they've spent or what have you, but I do think they're getting back better every year and then we'll be better again next year as well. They'll probably spend some more money as well. But we talked about this floor last time we went to the Chelsea Champions League game. We had a chat about English teams in the Champions League. It is crucial that some English teams do well this year, mm. mo mainly for our coefficient, because if we struggle, I think if an English team doesn't reach at least the quarterfinals this year, then we lose the place. And we'll only be the top three qualifying. Big, big and tonight, the Bayern return fixture with Arsenal. That's huge. It's a huge game with the Allianz. And also, don't let's not forget Arsenal. They're a club that have made a name for themselves, guaranteeing themselves fourth place or better mm. for the last, say, ten years. But a lot of the time, it has been fourth. And next year, it could be the fourth doesn't qualify you. So it's going to be so much harder. So we do need to do well in Europe. That's why. When Seb and I go to a Chelsea game or a Man United game in the Champions League, we're obviously always going to be supporting and cheering for the English club. Um, and I'm glad Man United won for that reason. So Man United fans, let us know in the comments below. What do you think of your current situation? Are you on the up? Is LVG doing a good job? What's happening with Depay? Is Rooney going to keep scoring goals? Is he on a bit of a decline now as well? I'm interested to hear from you. And neutrals, of course. What do you think about Man United's recent form in the league and, of course, in the Champions League as well? Uh, that's it for our video. Thanks to Seb for coming along. See you soon. And I'll see you on another one very shortly. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go changing. Say goodbye, Tiger. Tiger, bye-bye. <coughs>